Hey guys, so this one has been requested a bit from some of my friends, and I thought, okay, why not? What do I have to lose? So let's dive in! I had to really start with that joke, didn't I? Before I go into PUBG, let's first look into a little history on the game and how it came to be. The developer Brandon Green, under the tag Player Unknown, actually started programming when he got interested in modding Days, which is a multiplayer open world third person shooter that was released February 21st, 2013. This led him to work for Sony Online Entertainment, now known as Daybreak Game Company. He worked as a consultant for H1Z1 that was later split into two games, H1Z1 Just Survive and H1Z1 King of the Kill in February 2016, around when Green's consultation ended. He later went to work for Blue Hole Guineo Games, which is a company based in South Korea. Now that's what I call a dream come true. Enter March 2017 when Player Unknown Battlegrounds came onto Steam as an early access game. This was nothing new, as most developers do early access when they want to see what they can do to improve their games before they're fully released. Player Unknown Battlegrounds was then fully released on PC December 20th, 2017, with the Xbox One releasing later that month, and the mobile version which came out on March 19th, 2018. Now, the mobile version was published by a Chinese company called Tencent Games, and that's what I'm looking at today. So does it keep the standards of the PC and Xbox ports? I'm not really into shooters, so I'm relatively new to this genre. The controls are not too complicated, but I'm interested in knowing if those of you who played the PC or Xbox One versions had any issues with the controls for the mobile version. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. As for the gameplay itself, as it's Battle Royale, this insinuates that you're fighting against one another and trying to kill everyone. Sort of like Hunger Games. You can create your own character and then go right into the battle. Sort of. You start off with nothing, not even clothes, and you're running around the map trying to gather guns, backpacks, armors, and other stuff. You can even drive a random jeep if you find one. That's neat. How you enter the arena is by dropping from a plane. Once you have dropped to the ground, you have a limited amount of time to get to a certain play area before the area of play shrinks and you end up dead. You are up against 99 other players, so if you run into them, you shoot them down. Or punch them, depending on what happens. Last one standing wins. No wonder a lot of people loved the game when it was in early access. But no game is perfect. For starters, why do we not have some clothes to start the game in? You start basically in your underwear and I have no clue why. They don't give you a tutorial battle or even a training area to get a feel for the controls. Also, the way you just shoot feels clunky to me when you have to use the touchscreen trying to get the shot. The minimap is no help at all, as it only shows how far you are in the play area. They don't show where some supplies are, and also don't show players in the map. Is it part of the game? I'm not sure. But if it is, let me know in the comments below. I can see why people love this game, but this isn't my cup of tea, coffee, or pop, soda, whatever you fancy as a drink. I can see why the PC version has sold over 30 million copies, and why the Xbox One version sold over 5 million copies. This is one of the most popular games to livestream or let's play, like Fortnite. This was not my type of game, but I'm really glad I tried it out. And I want to thank all my friends for suggesting this. And I want to thank you guys for watching this review. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you all next time.